Hi, I'm Claire Bridge with a roundup of this week's stories for First News. First came the floods, then came a cyclone. Now Australia has been hit by bushfires. More than 70 homes and 4,000 acres of land have been destroyed by the fires near Perth. Authorities there believe one of them was started accidentally when dry grass was set alight by sparks from garden machinery. The Western Australian government has declared the area a disaster zone and said it would donate around half a million pounds to help the fire victims. Many other homes have been left severely damaged. Scientists at Oxford University say they've successfully tested a flu vaccine that could work against all known types of the illness. The new injection targets proteins inside the flu virus instead of those on the outside, which change depending on which type of flu a person has. If used, the vaccine could end the need for some people to have a flu jab every year. But only 22 volunteers took part in the research. The next step would be to try it out on others. Young people are being warned not to send revealing pictures of themselves to friends on mobile phones or online. A new film has been launched aimed at 11 to 16 year olds, warning of the dangers of what's known as sexting and urging youngsters to think before they send. The Child Exploitation and Online Protection Centre says the photos are often passed on to other people and could lead to bullying. People around the world have been welcoming in the Chinese New Year. In the UK, more than 300,000 people gathered in central London to welcome in the Year of the Rabbit, and performances included the famous Chinese lion and dragon dancing. The celebrations in London are well known for being the largest outside of Asia. Over in Argentina, hundreds gathered in Buenos Aires for the event, and in South Africa, a temple just outside Pretoria hosted the festivities with all sorts of entertainment. Twelve animals make up the traditional Chinese zodiac, with each year having its own beliefs. The year of the rabbit represents peace, love and intelligence. Ashley Cole has been voted England's Player of the Year by fans. The footballer says he was both surprised and proud to find out he'd won the award in the survey on the Football Association's website. Stephen Gerrard came second in the poll. And finally this week, giant ice sculptures have attracted thousands of visitors to a Japanese snow festival. The event, which has been running for more than 60 years, had 252 pieces on display, including various Disney characters. Sculptures of famous buildings from abroad also made an appearance, with China's Temple of Heaven being recreated in frozen form. Over 6,000 lorry loads of snow were needed to create the displays.